Hey guys, welcome to my new uh, YouTube studio. This is uh, version one. Let's see how I evolve. I want to talk you through my uh, process of turning a bowl. So uh, let's get turning. All right, if this is your first bowl ever, this is what you really want to start out with. A simple bowl blank, uh, not too huge. This might be larger than you would want to start with. I'm gonna be using a worm screw. Uh, I'm gonna put that in my chuck and then screw the blank on the worm screw. I'm gonna be using a gouge, a 40-40 ground uh, bowl gouge and a bottom bowl gouge. So when I uh, start off turning a bowl like this, I need to bring out the tailstock for security. So I like to start the turning process in three steps, which is creating three straight lines. The first line is the side of the bowl. The second straight line is the bottom of the bowl. And the third straight line is this 45 degree angle I cut the corner of the bowl. This allows me to place the tool rest inside that corner that I cut off so that I can start forming it on the outside. In this particular case, my bowl is not very secure on the worm screw. This is fresh ash, so the worm screw just doesn't hold very well in the piece. So I'm gonna have to turn it down to the round. I'm gonna have to turn a recess in the bottom of the bowl. I'm gonna have to turn the bowl around in the lathe just to turn a recess in the top of the bowl for being able to shape it on the outside without having the tailstock in my way. So here you can see how fresh the the ash is. It's just raining water on on my camera. I didn't quite consider it when I stood my camera up next to the bowl, so sorry camera. And here you can see me just taking the shavings off with the 4040 cut going all the way from the bottom of the bowl up to the top just shaping it to my preferred shape. And here I am just finishing off the bottom of the bowl, creating my recess that I'm gonna use to hold the bowl while I hollow it out. And then just creating a, a couple of lines on the bottom for decoration. So this is the hollowing process. I go in about, I don't know, two inches, five centimeters each time creating these riffles in the process so that when I start digging deeper, I can place my gouts in the riffle so that it doesn't skid when I enter the wood. And before I go any further, I wanna shape my rim. This bowl is gonna end up quite thin, so there's not gonna be too much rim left, but this is my last opportunity to shape the rim. Because once I make it thin and I get further down, it's going to shake like crazy and break with certainty if I don't do, do it at this point in the process. So then it's just a matter of hollowing out the rest of the bowl and, and hoping you don't go through it. And this is what we ended up with. All right. So I did manage to turn it. This is a thin bowl. It's, it's something. And I'm really, I'm practicing the 40-40 push cut. It's coming along really, really nice. All right, back to the studio. All right, that's it. All right, that's it. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and watching until the end. It really makes me glad that you stuck through. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching.
and watching until the end, it really makes me glad that you stuck through. And doing so, it tells me that maybe you got some sort of value out of this video. So if you did, go ahead and smash that like button down there. Also, if you think this is something you might want to come back to, go ahead and press the subscribe button down there and show some love in the comment section down below. If you want to check out some of the other videos that I made, I've created a playlist. It's up uh, here somewhere. Uh, if you haven't seen my promo video yet, it's down here probably somewhere. All right. See you guys in the next one. Much love. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sorry.